Whoa! That is the best part. Dang. I gotta get one of those. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me happy. Oh. Mm. The buffer size thing. <sighs> Hold on. I fix. Why is it do? <sighs> it should be better. Why, is, why be does better. anything happen? You know. The audio, like sometimes the audio just decides to screw up. And it's like um, on my uh, interface, I have to like change the buffer size. Mm -hmm. uh, and it automatically puts it right back now and then. I'm like, why? Why you do this? And uh, it gives me no good answer. So, you know. I leave for a week Bob. and the computer's like, how dare you? Here, have a glitch. <laughs> exactly. You could ask Bob, but Bob only answers yes and no questions. So oh? if you can form it, can you phrase it in the form of a yes or no question? Um, does my computer hate me? Hold. That's a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> Bob's a little bit um, out of the screen range for, oh. for, for, for everybody. There you go. There's Bob. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. There you go. Namiria. Hi. Did you miss me? Did you miss me too? Goodness. Hi. Okay, let me say hello to everybody really quick. Heather and Nikki and Trevor. I see Jane. Hey. What's up? What's up? Uh, Lee. I saw Mark. Uh, who am I missing? Who am I? Johnny and <laughs> Namiria. Can you stop pumping my leg, please? Goodness gracious. And Trevor, 49 months, 49 month resub. My wow. goodness gracious. You That's are, a lot of months. That is a lot. That, <laughs> and Trevor's like, that is many. quite a shirt, Steve. Thank you very much. And Nikki likes your hat. Well, gosh, let's just not bother with songs. Let's just do wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Ow, dog, go. <laughs> goodness. You've got a toy over there, and, a, and a, there you go. Oh, oh, she's like, okay. Goodness gracious. Well, hello. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> this is the Nymeria show, apparently. Um, no, this is my weekly web concert that I've been doing for over 10 years, and uh, I have a different guest every week, and this week's guest is Steve Goody. Yay. Yay. <laughs> How many times have you been my guest on this show? Five. Somewhere that somewhere in there. Thirty, I don't know. Yeah, five or somewhere between five and thirty. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Uh, hey, Kelsey. Hi, Prestige Worldwide. How's it going? Did I say hi to Nikki yet? Hi, Nikki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, not not a whole lot has changed. I don't, uh, except um, we have added a section that I don't know that you may or may not have played this with me already, but um, it's the um, bad lip reading interview. I don't think I have played that. Oh, this will be fun. Okay. Okay. We we're, we don't do it until like halfway through. Okay. So so around eight, eight fifteen. You somewhere okay around with that, there. Bob? Bob's fine with it. <laughs> good. 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 Yeah, and I will. I'll. I'll. You know, explain. And you. You're obviously. If you're not comfortable with it, then you can say, "No, nah, let's not do it." So. When I'm not comfortable thing with things, I just keep it to myself and inwardly cry. So it'll be fine. I really I relate to that too hard, and um, <laughs> that's that's probably not healthy. <laughs> oh, you wanted healthy? I misunderstood. I mean, you know, uh -huh. we try. Back up a little bit. So you've got two cameras. That's what's going on. I do. I do. I've got one shot here and another shot on Twitch. Yep. I see. Mm -hmm. so yes, clever. because I have it set up so that I can harmonize with you in real oh, time. Right. right. That's insane. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Especially if you do. <laughs> Since you're probably going to be doing a bunch of songs I haven't heard yet, right? Possibly. Who knows? Who knows? Not me. Apparently not Steve either. Also, Bob knows, right? Bob. Bob knows. Bob knows. Yeah, he, he's he keeps nodding. Second. <laughs> do it quietly. 
Oh, it's... by the way, and since it is International Women's Day, yes, it Bob's is. alter ego, Roberta, is here in case anybody wants to talk to Roberta. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I didn't know that uh, he had an alter ego. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Yes, she does. Yes. All right, I'm going back this way for now, though, because the nose is, I like the nose. The nose is great. You got a song? Going to do a song? Yeah, I'm going to do a song, and that, that's, that's what we do here on this show is we, we play original songs, songs that we have written. Oh. Prestige, thank you so much for the bits. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start off, and uh, we're going to do some music. Yeah, that. Woo! I'm going to mute Steve here. Uh, just in case something blows up in your background or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. And uh, oh. I'm going to do... I'm actually going to do a, a song that Steve heard uh, fairly recently when I was on his show. He has a, a, a show with Brad Tassel and a bunch of other funny people every week. Uh, what day of the is uh, Is it still on Mondays now? It used to be on Thursdays. It is now on Mondays. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can't. Yeah, I, I unmuted you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, it's on Mondays now. Uh, exclamation point Steve Goody in the chat, and it'll tell you all about all of the things. Neat. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. This is called Dear Human, and it's from the perspective of a dragon who is very cynical. A very, a very cynical dragon who has never had a, a good experience with a human. So, here we go. Dear human, are you a monster? Like most I've met before. Do you lie and steal cheap and kill things? Who didn't look upon me with greater fear in their eyes? No, I've never met a person who was kind for any reason other than to cover up their lies. Dear you. Tell me a different than most I've met before. Are you real and kind? Did I find someone that I can trust? Dear human, tell me a different. Cause I've never met a person. Very nice. Thank you. Do our songs have to have something to do with each other? We're going to just do whatever no. we want. No. Uh, but okay. if, if there, you know, if one of my songs was like, oh, this makes me think of this song that Music I have, makes then the feel free. It, it kind of does. That song together. kind oh, of makes me think of grocery shopping. To my favorite, or Bryn. Kind of. So. Yeah. Yeah. 
I love being on your show, Auburn, but Aww. there are some things I don't love, and one of them is grocery shopping. I am so tired of <laughs> all of the crap you have to go through just to get some food. Food, 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 licorice, food, 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 broccoli, food, 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 cherry pez, food, food. I forgot to make a list. Why is everybody else so much more organized than this? I don't know where my glasses are, let alone what I'm going to want to eat on Thursday. Free samples they keep offering me. I'm picking out all day for free. Toothpicks scattered around so far and wide. Bacon wrapped, teeny weeny, pickle picks, feet deep fried. Clean up on aisle five. There's a Gatorade spill a mile wide. I got to get across to the other side. And all that sugar makes my shoes go... I actually wrote that down. <laughs> Why can't all grocery stores be laid out the same? They all do manage to put the milk way at the back. Produce to the left of me, bakery to the right. Here I am, stuck in the checkout behind a guy with a checkbook and 5,000 coupons. He's got a coupon, so he'll save on asparagus. Save on asparagus. And some radishes, but mostly asparagus. Check myself out with the scanner. Gotta check myself out really fast. I bought bananas that aren't quite ripe, but scanners hate produce, so I've got to type. Uh, 4011, that's banana. <laughs> Please scan item. Please scan next item. Please scan next item. Please scan next item. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. It will arrive in five years. Help is on the way. Please insert card. Please insert card. Do not remove 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 card. Remove card now! Remove card now! If you don't remove your card now, the store will explode! Paper or plastic. Paper or plastic. I'll just tuck it in my underwear's elastic That should hold it tightly You can't tell me the bulge is unsightly That would be body shaming Say, is that 20 pounds of ground beef in your pocket Or are you just price check on virtual Price check on personal moisturizer I need a price check on personal moisturizer Hey Al, I need a check on Vagisil No, the 64 ounce No, the big one <laughs> 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 Sorry. From store to car, car to cabinet, the whole process is way too elaborate. When I get home, look at the fridge, what do I see? It's last year's expired meat. Oh, that stinks. I'm trashing it. Forget grocery shopping. Shopping. I'm door dashing it. Food, 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 food. Bring me some food, 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 please. That's the official end of song chord. Yes. What chord is that? A13. A13. Yeah, if everybody's taking notes, that's an A13 class. Wow. Okay. And I usually don't mention class because I have none. Mm-hmm. Uh, awesome. That's the first <laughs> of my songs to mention uh, feminine products. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there will probably be another one. Uh, I want really quickly, uh, this happened like right as you were starting, but uh, Johnny uh, get, uh, tipped... Forty dollars. Thank you, Johnny. Wow. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you so much. And I also, I don't know you, but but I kind of love you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Michael gifted a sub to Penny. Thank you, Michael. And then um, Johnny gifted a sub to Heather. He did what now? He gifted a subscription to Heather. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know what it means, but it's nice. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. So, um, with, with subscriptions, um, when somebody subscribes to my channel, um, basically, um, they get no ads, um, uh, when they come to my channel and, uh, they get use of my personalized emotes, uh, throughout uh, Twitch. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and certain other things, um, if they're subscribers and they're in my Discord server, then there's also a special Discord channel, uh, a special sub channel for subscribers where I'll uh, release some early stuff, kind of like my Patreon and such. So, yeah. Cool. I'm that. so glad that you understand all that stuff. <laughs> it's taken a bit, you know, but yeah, uh, yeah it's pretty yeah, you've cool. You've been out of 10 years. Well, yeah, but Twitch for four now. Uh, officially for as an affiliate okay. now 
as of the 28th of February, which is also my nephew's birthday. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yep. So now I know how uh, how old um, my channel is based off of uh, my nephew's age plus two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your nephew is two or six? Yep, he's two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Math is hard. <laughs> he was born on my second uh, affiliate anniversary. Okay. Yeah, that. I dig. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if I have any songs that have anything to do with <laughs> anything you mentioned. <laughs> I mentioned quite a few things. You did. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. It doesn't have to. It's your show. Oh, I you know. know I know. But uh, I'm just, you know, thinking. Thinking. Because it's always fun when, when you can find some sort of thread. Uh-huh. You know? Yep. A real one or a contrived one. Exactly. Exactly. This hat is so weird. This hat does not breathe. No? I'm sweating. I mean, it's... Thing. it's you know, it doesn't have lungs, or so it, it doesn't appear to have lungs, so. So literal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to do a song called Lady About Town. Also, did anybody let Alice know? <laughs> because I haven't seen her yet. She might not be home yet. Sometimes she gets home a little later. She likes her coffee light and sweet. She takes her gray goose nice and neat. She wears bright red stiletto shoes. is what it is. It's haunting. Bob was telling me. That sounds haunting. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. And I do have a song to answer that. You do? I do. Hey, Maybe not what you think. No? Maybe. Who knows? Women who get about town have to do so with a vehicle usually. Ah. I wrote indeed. a song with my friend Sammy Cannon, who is a server over there at the Bluebird Cafe, where I'm the MC on Sundays. Uh -huh. She sent me a text. The, the Bluebird is just like the TV show Nashville. Everybody works there is uh, 
talented and it's a family and everybody's incredibly frustrated with everything. So <laughs> Sammy sent me a text about a year ago. She's quite a bit younger than I am. She said, I've got a really dumb idea for a song. I think it would be perfect for you. And I said, I'm listening. And she said, I've noticed that women in my age group have really tidy, clean houses and really filthy cars. And men in my age group, exactly the opposite. Really clean, you could eat off them cars and filthy, disgusting, uninhabitable houses. She said, do you think there's a song there? And I said, yes, yes, I do. Her apartment is pristine. Every room is clean, clean, clean. Everything in its place. Perfect use of perfect space. She's organized and functional. Fastidious and punctual. So it's incredible. Though she's obsessed with cleanliness. What a nightmare of disgusting crap. Her purple Prius is. It's her mobile trash unit. It's a dump on wheels. It's an oil spill in a landfill. It's roadkill on an anthill. It's her mobile trash unit. Coffee cup, slurpee cups, Dr. Pepper, 7-Up, mascara, lipstick, eyeliner, cover-up, glitter, 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 glitter! Sports bra, tennis shoes, yoga pants, cowboy boots, phone charger, ice scraper, community college, psych paper, hairbrush, sunscreen, 17, magazine, candy wrappers, gum wrappers, triscuits, and Ritz crackers, a gallon of hand sanitizer. Her favorite... Favorite watermelon... I forgot the... Ah, oh, man, I'm so pleased that I know this. Let me back up. Her, her favorite... A gallon of hand sanitizer. Her favorite avocado, watermelon, tango, mango, moisturizer. I will relearn that song. Bubble gum lip gloss. Wild cherry lip gloss. Strawberry lip gloss. Venti mocha almond fudge, high octane decaf, non dairy, non fat, extra cool, double shot of espresso lip gloss with glitter. Months old receipts. Several hundred samples from Clinique, groceries from last week, like a quart of milk that's begun to reek, and stinky mystery lunch and meat. I mean, I've heard of olive loaf, but this is ridiculous. Crumbs and nuts and cigarette butts, curly fries and pizza crust, icky, sticky, moldy jelly, donuts. Under the seat. Under the seat. She's a slob when she eats, so there's all kinds of treats. Under the seat. This is the part about tampons. I told you this is probably gonna happen. Uh, let's skip the part about tampons. <laughs> and if you'd like to harmonize, there's an opportunity coming up. Cause there's no need to pad this We both quit smoking this year. Smelly car, smelly car. What has she been eating in you? It's her mobile trash unit. It's a dump on wheels. It's an oil spill in a landfill. It's roadkill on an anthill. A bunch of hazmat in some oatmeal. It's guacamole and banana peels. Can't see through the damn windshield because it's her mobile trash unit. And her boyfriend's apartment is much, much worse. That's some good harmonizing, I think. I couldn't hear you, but it looked like it was good. I didn't know you were going to hold it out that long, otherwise I would have taken a bigger breath. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I probably could have kept up with you, but... I bet you could have. Didn't know. Next time. Didn't know. Next time. Next time, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Man, if, I, if my name was Cricket Davis, I would have had a, the perfect song, because I've... Uh, she was on my show a couple weeks ago, and uh, mm -hmm. she's got a song called Trash. <laughs> yeah. I say do it. I'd, I, if I knew it, I would. <laughs> but it's basically, uh, you won't find no treasure digging through my trash, is the hook of that one. It's good. It's good. Amiria on camera. <laughs> oh, she grumbled. She's like, mm. <laughs> You know, dogs. She really wants my attention tonight. She's she, <laughs> she could have, you know, she had all day, you know, to bug me. And it's, it's when I fun. come in here yeah, and pick up the guitar that she's like, yeah. ah. <laughs> yeah. So that. 
I love her, but my goodness, Doug. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the lyrics so I can get this right next time. Oh, her yeah. favorite, her favorite coconut avocado watermelon tangerine mango moisturizer. That's what I was supposed to say. I don't know why I lost that. Mm. You that's were here. A, that's a lot of flavors, a lot, lot or a lot of scents. Got to yeah. remember to say coconut first, and it all falls out. Favorite coconut avocado watermelon tangerine. I knew it was going to be moisturizer because that's what rhymed yeah. with sanitizer. That's one of the things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fertilizer. Fertilizer, yeah, <laughs> but less Atomizer. likely, less likely yeah. things, you know, things to have in her car. Probably so. Yeah, probably so. Um, let's see. likes his booze. He likes booze? Yeah, he does. Very much so. All right. That was really good. Uh, where does it go? Does he, does he like it poured over his head or like, I guess he does, you know, I guess it goes right through him though, huh? You know, that's a very personal question. <laughs> You're right. Guy, I, I apologize. I apologize. For a guy with no pants. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to switch instruments. Okay. Time to do some ukulele. 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 Yeah. This nice. ukulele, signed by Weird Al Yankovic. Hey oh. Look at that. On Look at his that. Big tour in 2016. Uh, <clears throat> this is a little song about one, one lady who's gone out of her mind, uh, who wrote a lot of very, 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 very popular books and now can't seem to shut up about where trans people are supposed to pee. So here's a little song about that. <laughs> when 
when you wrote about muggles and wizards. I could read your novels all night and day, but lately I've been grieving about your recent frequent tweeting, and I wonder what good old Harry would say. You mean tweets we've been surfing? Why you gotta keep on turfing? Rolling, 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 get off Twitter. Hey, were you raised in a cupboard? Or Ben Shapiro's house are in 1815. You think you're all maternal, but you sound like Moaning Myrtle. Why are you so hung up on where people are peeing? Big money you've been earning to slither in your reverting. Rolling, 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 get on Twitter. That's that one. <sighs> Bye, thanks. The Moaning Myrtle line, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. <sighs> That's all part of a new show I'm putting together, a tribute to Weird Al Yankovic and Daniel Radcliffe at the same time. Oh. Whoa. It's Whoa. called Al, the Weird Tribute, and how Daniel Radcliffe got mixed up in this nonsense. Because as you probably know, Al made a biopic last mm -hmm. year of his life. It was very funny, and it starred Daniel Radcliffe yes. as Al. So the two worlds collided, and I had to do a tribute show. Of course. And that's from that show. Of course. Uh, <laughs> I've actually seen that biopic. Yes, you have. And very much enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Very much enjoyed it. What's not it. to love? Well, I mean, you know, I didn't know that, that Weird Al actually died in the 80s. Sorry, yeah. spoilers, but... A lot of, yeah, <laughs> spoiler alert, please. <laughs> My God. <laughs> and, and, you know, Madonna, man. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Did you further know that the, the biopic premiered on my birthday? I did not know this. That's significant for reasons that only I understand. <laughs> I feel like Chuck Barris in this hat. Did he do that on purpose? Yes. I like to think so. Yeah. Yeah. He Trevor's like, did. wait, Weird Al is dead? Everything I know is a lie. <laughs> yes, it is, Trevor. Go watch the biopic. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Come on. Come on. It's you been call yourself a fan? <laughs> you call yourself a fan? Well, he's a Taylor fan. Hey. <laughs> right. 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 Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Um, trying to think. Oh, uh, you know Thinking what? is hard. It, it really is. I'm gonna I'm gonna sing a song that I wrote with my friend Emily Henry. It's a newer song that I don't play very often yet, um, because it is new. But uh, yeah, it's called Falling for Fiction. Does it have any death in it? Uh, no. Wow, you're branching out. <laughs> You know. <laughs> At least I don't think so. We'll find out. Yeah. If it does, you'll be like, oh, there it is. I'm <laughs> 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 trying to find the right key. I think I got it. Tucks my hair behind my ear and tells me that I did just fine. Uh, hold on, really quick, really quick, Steve. Uh, what what channel is the the biopic on? I think I I saw it Ro on. It's on Roku. Oh, it, it is on the Roku. Okay, mm -hmm. is it just on Roku? I'm probably still. I don't know for a fact. Okay. But even if you don't have Roku, you can watch it. Just go there. You'll have to watch some commercials, but you don't have to <laughs> sign up if you don't want to. Yeah. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> he tucks my hair behind my ear and tells me that I did just fine. I wring my hands until he takes them and he looks deep in my eyes. He tells me just how smart and worthy I am and I believe him. He's so good at knowing how I'm feeling. It's like he can read my He 
He's glad to talk about his feelings Doesn't keep him locked inside He never yells or makes a scene And he definitely doesn't lie His promises are never empty And I know that I can trust him Yeah, maybe he's predictable But he's never made me cry That was really great. I'm sorry I had a little disaster over here. <laughs> I was like, what's going on over there? While I'm wearing an accordion, it's hard to have headphones and a hat. Yeah, I so imagine Bob's so. wearing my hat. That was very <laughs> nice. And I like how you tied it to my song. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I was singing about fiction, you know. Yeah, fiction. Ha, ha, ha. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been practicing the accordion for the sake of this show. You can't do a Weird Al show and not have some accordion. Right. As you know, it's just against the law. It is. I'm glad to, you're, that you're not breaking the law. So. You know. Yeah. And this is exciting <laughs> and stupid. I uh, actually ordered an electronic accordion. Electronic Similar to the accordion? one that Al plays. Yeah, he's been playing a Roland accordion. Oh. Electronic for almost 20 years, I think. Wow. Uh, and I'm picking one up in Milwaukee because that's where you go. <laughs> <laughs> so All right. this may be one of my last performances on this thing that was gifted to me 30 years ago by my mom's boyfriend. They're still together. Uh, apparently, they were supposed to be alone, but I think my mom insisted that I keep it because she was tired of hearing it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my that theory. Right. <laughs> so I'd like to do another number from the show. This is a medley because, you know, Al does lots of polka medleys of other people's songs, but I don't think anybody's ever polka medleyed one of his songs. So I thought my job... My work is cut out for me. So this is 12 Weird Al songs in three minutes. If you'd like to time me, you can. It's exciting. You don't have to. Or you can just sit there and drink. It's fine. So here we go. <laughs> How come you're always such a fussy young man? No one, no Captain Crunch, no one, no Raisin Bran. Well, don't you know that other kids are starving in Japan? So eat it. <laughs> I can play the accordion. Don't you tell me you're full, just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, get yourself an egg and beat it. Have a banana, have a whole bunch, it doesn't matter what you have for lunch, just eat it. Well, I'm yelling. Man, I can't play today. I'm yelling, yelling, and I'm playing, but I don't know what I'm saying, what's the message I'm conveying, can you tell me? What I'm saying, no. I'm going, yes, I'm going, I'm going to the going to the, I'm going to the going to the going to the, yeah, I'm going to the hardware store. People say I'm a geek, a moronic little freak, a 
that annoying pig squeak with that unfortunate physique. But the Frenchies think that my poor dog stink. I'm a genius in France. Walk with your mouth full. Bite the hand that feeds you. Bite her more than you can chew. Dare to be stupid. Dare to be stupid. And another comes on. Another comes on. Another one rides the bus. Hey, gonna sit by you. Another one rides the bus. I just can't understand it. Why won't you return my phone calls? Are you still mad I gave a mohawk to your cat? Oh, Melanie, what can the problem be? Sweet Melanie, why won't you go out with me? I'm driving a truck, driving a brick old truck. Pedal to the metal, hope I don't run out of luck. Wearing feather boas with sequins and chiffon. Driving a truck with my high heels on. Hey! Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna educate you. Gonna familiarize you with the nomenclature. You'll learn the definition of nouns and prepositions. Literacy is your mission. And that's why I think it's a good time. And he smiled as he said with a twinkle in his eye. Merry Christmas to all. Now you're all gonna die. The night Santa went crazy. The night Saint Nick went insane. Realized he'd been getting the raw deal. Something finally must have snapped in his brain. I know Darth Vader's really got you annoyed, but remember, if you kill him, then you'll be unemployed. Oh my Yoda, yo 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 Yoda, yo 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 Yoda. They see me mowing my front lawn. I know that they're thinking I'm too white and nerdy. Too white and nerdy. You think I'm white and nerdy? Oh me, I'm white and nerdy. Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. You think I'm white and nerdy? Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. Oh me, I'm white and nerdy. Okay, that was exactly three minutes. Wow. That's because I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> like literally exactly three minutes. I watched literally it hit the, exactly. yeah, the second. I was like, what? That's why I make the big money. <laughs> I'm putting this down. Fantastic. Uh, thanks. Fantastic. Occasionally I get it right. This was not one of those occasions. Uh, it was still fun. Yay. Yay. Yeah, it's fun to watch me struggle. I've been told that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've been told that a lot too, Trevor. <laughs> about me or about yourself? No, about myself. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I struggle sometimes too. No, mm. you got it all together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sure do. One of the two of us has it all together. It might be Bob. Yeah, it's probably Bob. It's probably Bob. Yeah. I just see his like little yellow. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Would this help? Yeah. It would, but it won't bit, stay there. No. That's a little bit better. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. He's good. It's he's like he's good. scratching his nose on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> got an itch. Got an itch. <laughs> All that hype. Should be glad I didn't mention she was on time today. I was on time today. What I'm now? usually on time lately, Trevor. She's Mostly. very punctual, our Auburn. Trevor, I don't know why you're so grumpy today. <laughs> and if I'm on, if I'm not, I'm usually only like five minutes late. Yeah, Lately, five minutes. Now what, that you I, only have five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I haven't been more than ten minutes late in a while now. Yeah, okay? I'm almost never fifteen minutes late. Twenty minutes late, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever throw something to try and get it to be where you can find it later, and it goes right off into a little crevice that you couldn't have gotten into if you were trying and now it's disappeared and forever when the show is over i will have forgotten where it went what what was it that you a thumb drive full of important things yeah because i throw those so things. everybody at I the do. end of the stream um start yelling at steve <laughs> thumb drive thumb drive thumb drive thumb, thumb drive, drive. great okay. idea yeah See, you're so clever you I, know what i think uh, I'm going to go look for it now. Okay. <laughs> It'll just take me 10 seconds. I'll be right back. You okay. go ahead and play. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. <coughs> All right. Goodness gracious. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll do. I haven't done this one in a while. Let's do this one. Tell you a secret about 
heart for brave men. A 44 I brought to war, I knew it would be them. I could see it on their faces, a shining light. From heaven, no, up from below, it marked them all to die. I let them leave without a warning. Their tags collected in the morning. What you want to know? Where you gonna, gonna go? What you want to know? Where you gonna, gonna go? When you, when you gonna get it? What you want to know? Where you gonna, gonna go? What you want to know? Where you gonna, gonna go? When you, when you gonna get it? I tried explaining. I tried pleading Don't go, I said you'll end up dead But he would not believe He left a wife and two little children A newborn son, not even one I knew how much he loved them So much for Mrs. Riker's lovely wedding Seven happy years and two fine sons See, that's like a haunting cabaret take on the song, The Dance. Oh. Mm. You're familiar with the Garth Brooks song? The yes. Name? Yeah. Uh -huh. Tony Arata wrote it, and he plays the bluebird all the time. And it's very, like, oh. would you really want to know? Would you want to know? No. Yeah. Don't think I'd want to know. No? Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't think so. I'm getting tired of this hat. <laughs> and since I'm tired of this hat, I have some other hats here. They're, oh. they're terribly inappropriate. I mean terribly inappropriate but since nashville has has declared i'm sorry tennessee has declared mm -hmm. that drag is illegal mm -hmm. somebody posted a meme that oh yeah dressing up as the opposite gender is illegal but giant golden penises on limousines driving down broadway right. is fine right so with that in mind hang on i'm gonna take off my headphones mm -hmm. for a second i got a variety of choices here <laughs> amazing <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Headphones first. Oh my God. Yeah, I like this one pretty well. <laughs> I find it inspiring. Wow. Bob likes it too. Well, Roberta likes it more. Oh, yeah. Hang on. This thing is busted. Come on. There we go. Hi, Solis. So, so what's going on, beautiful people? Well, this. I've yeah. got penis hats. This is just the first one. God, I can't get it to... I think the headphones are making my head uh -huh. even larger than normal, and this thing can't cope. <laughs> but I have to have the headphones because otherwise we have What's feedback or echo. That's not a penis. That's a torpedo. Yeah. <laughs> I know headphones that's... and hats and stuff like that are just uh, not... I've never had headphones interfere with a penis so much. All right. <laughs> that's better. Hey. It is a torpedo, isn't it? All right. Yeah. Should I keep on wearing this while I do another song? Or is this too much for our audience? If you want to, uh, they're, I mean, they they make me eat candy dicks, so, you know. Whoa! All right, then I'm in the right place. <laughs> What's up, Brinkster? Hey, Solis, seems fitting. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's see. Uh, now, Johnny, as thank you for gifting another sub. I haven't done this one in a long time, but when Auburn, when you when you were on our show, you did your answer to this. So Aha. I'm do the question to well, it. I guess I gotta do. And then and then you could do the answer if you want. Okay. Uh, here's a little story I tell people that is completely made up, but then it has a truth to it because Auburn's awesome. <laughs> uh, I, people ask me, what's it like to be a Nashville songwriter? And I say, well, it's pretty cool. You wake up in the morning, you have some coffee, you write a song. Then you meet a friend for lunch, you hang out for four hours, you write another song. Then you both get good and drunk, and you write a third song, which neither of you will remember the next morning. Then you go to bed and you wake up the next day, you do it again. It's a pretty cool lifestyle. But sometimes we songwriters run out of ideas. So we have to play little games with each other to help get the creative juices flowing again. Man, it's weird to have a penis on your head when you're telling this story. <laughs> so, so here's a little game I play with my good friend, Auburn. We get together and we give each other four random things that the other one has to put into one song. So last time I saw Auburn, I gave her, let's see, what did I give you? Sunshine. Dr. Dre. Uh, cleaning, Dr. Dre, Cleaning the Gutters, and foosball. foosball. And I didn't see her for five years. But I wrote mine pretty prompt. I know, I made all that up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wrote mine pretty promptly because I'm a prompt kind of guy. Uh, she gave me yeah. four things. She gave me uh, Forrest Gump, Justin Bieber, Poop, and Creedence Clearwater Revival. Let's go over the end. Uh, Forrest Gump, Justin Bieber, uh, Poop, Poop, and and uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Creedence Clearwater Revival. There's a lot of yeah. Creedence tonight. Yeah. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Forrest Forrest Gump. Jenna, Jenna, you're the girl for me. You don't know it, but you make me so happy. Jenna, I got your number. I need to make you mine. Jenna, don't change your number. Everybody, well, just me, because it's, yeah. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. I, man, I'm sure you're singing it nicely. I'm screwing it all up. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. There you go. I'm not a smartphone, but I know what your number is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a smartphone. <laughs> well, I hate his stupid music, but all the kids idolize him. Rockstar at age 13. And now he's vandalizing houses, getting DUIs. And he's the only thing on TV. Man, I hate that Brad that Brad Bieber. Yep. There it is. Okay, this part's gonna get pretty gross. So if you are sensitive, you might want to put your hands over your ears and go la 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 for the next minute and a half. Just got home from Taco Bell. Unlocked the front door. Oh hell! Got to sit down. Get relief on the throne. Hey, two great big chalupas. Now I'm full of poopas, and there's do 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 looking out my back door. I'm a genius. <laughs> Can't get the front door open. My stupid key is broken. Gotta make it to the crapper, please. Somebody let me in. Them tacos I was hogging. Now I'm doing some prairie dogging, and there's do 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 looking out my back door. Now they're starting to expand And my insides are at high tide, it's true Do, do, do In my crap condition I must assume the position And they're do, do, do Looking out my back door And now Auburn will take a scat solo Get it? I can't hear it, but it's awesome My sphincter's ready to deploy I'm backed up like an altar boy <laughs> And it's a damn emergency Gotta make it to the john It's fiber one tomorrow Today I'm Kilimanjaro And there's do 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 Looking out my back door End of chord song No, end of song chord this hat is killing me. <sighs> I'm getting rid of that. Okay. Um, Although the hat is appropriate for my song.
Is it? My response um, song. I'll fax it over. You can wear it. <laughs> I'm going to find another one. <laughs> of so what you I'm going to do is I'm going to mute myself, turn on my speaker so I can hear you. Okay. And I'll be right back. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, so, yeah, he, he made up this whole thing. Okay, I'm just saying. He, he did mention that, that the whole thing was made up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I saw another one. <laughs> um, and, and he didn't tell me about it until I was at a, a show. I believe it was, a, what, until I, it was at the um, Douglas Corner. I don't know if it was a, a open mic or, or uh, if it was a songwriter's round or, or if it was something else. Um, but, uh, yeah, he played it on stage and, uh, and was like accusing me of not writing my song yet. And I'm like, <laughs> I did not even know that this was a thing yet. <laughs> well, now I got to write the song. And I literally, I wrote it on a napkin, I think the first time. And then the I best think I songs are it. napkin songs. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. I, I'm sorry. We have to, we have to zoom in on this. <laughs> I, you know, I've heard that before. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. No. Why? Nobody's <laughs> nobody's shaming anybody. We're not shaming. That that I wow. I want to be in a band called Auburn Needs a Penis Hat. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't technically a hat. No. But I have a hat ready for the CANOA, one. hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome in. <laughs> so, uh, can we get a shout out for CANLA? They're freaking awesome musicians um yay yay and streamers and uh yeah it's so great to see you too <laughs> okay all right so um <clears throat> if you're just tuning in you missed uh steve's <laughs> awesome medley uh and you missed a lot of context yes yes it's a pinos <laughs> Well, you really hit it on the nose there. <laughs> or on the head, if you will. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my parents are watching. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Yeah. I, you know, I if, feel like if it I wasn't need for to... these, if it wasn't for these, you wouldn't have a birthday. <laughs> Tis true. Tis true. Hat burp, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to send her at least this portion of the show just to make her day because. Without a doubt. Yeah, for sure. Because for she would, sure. she, she's going to die laughing. Hopefully not literally. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> she, like I need that responsibility. Right? So, um, okay. So as Steve said earlier, um, apparently we gave each other words that we had to write to, to fit in a song. Um, this show was brought to you by the letter P, <laughs> which is, um, kind of ironic since it is International Women's Day. <laughs> I talked about a lot of feminine products earlier. You did. You did. <laughs> uh, and, so and, and trans people in bathrooms and such. So yeah. I think I've covered a lot of bases. You did. You did. I'll give you I'll that. shut up now. You sing. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, uh, so the words that uh, Steve gave me, because I didn't actually give him his words. Um, he just <laughs> said that I did and accused me of not writing my song yet when I didn't even know that we were that, that this was a thing that we were doing. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, well, I guess I better write the song now just to, you know, so that he can't keep saying that I haven't written my song yet. What's funny is I keep saying it anyway. You keep saying Carry on. Come on. <laughs> 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 it's called vitamin d and the words that he gave me were sunshine dr dre cleaning the gutters and foosball foosball <clears throat> foosball here comes the sunshine a little bit of something lighten up the air spray some lemon in my hair gonna lay outside all day listening to dr dre Lighten up my love with some California love Today I need some vitamin D Cause I got a deficiency Put a towel on the pavement Got a book and some lemonade Lather sunscreen on like butter No, I won't be cleaning gutters, not today Deficiency. 
vision see Why don't you come and join me Cause you seem a little lonely The play fools ball in the sun Tell me, does that sound like fun? Cause today I need some vitamin D Cause I got a deficiency <laughs> I did it. Yeah. Making all the world correct and true. Since, <laughs> since 1980. When were you born? 88. Let's say 1991. Oh, okay. Sure. Maybe right, three years younger. We're good. <laughs> all right. Up. Oh, wow. Like this one. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I always get this backwards. <laughs> you know how it is when you get it backwards? <laughs> there we go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> But of course, now my headphones are completely gone. I can't hear a thing. Uh -huh. You hate when your when your penis knocks your headphones off. Well, I mean, I you know, hate that. if you're gonna be a, a dick, I'm gonna be a cock. <laughs> All right. So you performed that song on our show, the virtual comedy show, not too very long ago, <laughs> and I had to follow it up, and it was a pretty easy follow up because. <laughs> What? What are you laughing at? I haven't even started Nothing. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> uh, your, the first line of your song is, Here Comes the Sun. So uh -huh. I decided to go with this. That's now, right. as you know, and I know, but a lot of people don't know, George Harrison of the Beatles was raised in a Jewish household. Not everybody knows that. Uh, everybody knows that he, he and the Beatles met the Maharishi when he was in 25 or so, and he became Hare Krishna, which he was for the rest of his life. But he was raised Jewish. All, both of his parents, all four of his grandparents, Jewish. So another thing you might not know is that George's father, Shlomo Harrison, was also... And by the way, this is the today is the 47th anniversary... No, not 47th. 44th anniversary of my bar mitzvah, so yay. Hmm. That's why I wanted to do this, and that's why this is shaped the way it is. <laughs> 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 uh, George's father, Shlomo, was also a songwriter, and it appears George may have stolen a song or two from his dad. How do I know? Because I found some of his dad's old songs, and they're awfully familiar, very similar to some famous hit songs we all know. See what you think. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> yep. Here comes my son. Here comes my son, and I say, Oi. Little pisser, it's been a hot, sticky, humid summer. Little pisser, it seems like years since you mowed the lawn. Here comes my son, do do do. Here comes my son, and I say, are stupid. <laughs> son, 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 here he comes. Son, 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 what a bum. Hey, there's a cock harmonizing and texting. Son, 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 where's my gun? Phaser's on stun. See, there's a nerd reference. Make that kill. In my back, little pisser. It's so hot, I'm sweating bullets. Little pisser, get me a beer, you schmuck. Schmuck is the Yiddish word for okay. Here comes my son, do do do. Here comes my son, and I say, Oi. You know what I just realized? What? I believe I can do both <laughs> of these at once. Yep. Oh, and have headphones. My. Yep. <laughs> I can't hear you, Auburn. Should I be able to hear you? No. No. No, you should Hi. not have been able to hear Hi, me. Hi, Auburn. Hello. <laughs> 
This is my proudest moment. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard you giggle in that high pitched fashion before. Wow. By the way, I'm av I'm available for weddings. <laughs> About bachelorette parties. Yeah, it's just yeah. That's yeah. more you know. <laughs> B Y O P T. T? Pedal Tavern. Oh. Uh, yeah. 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 That was not the the pedal pedal was not the word that I thought. <laughs> Went along with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, um, <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. <sighs> I'm wondering if it's time to do our little interview. <clears throat> oh, maybe it is. I think so. Should I remain in, in this getup or should I find something else? Uh, you, I mean, whatever you're comfortable in. I'm not comfortable with any of this. <laughs> <laughs> you... I didn't know that was a factor. <laughs> Well, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight into it. You've been on my show a few yeah. times. If they if they mm -hmm. wanna, uh, you know, and, and they've they they can go to your website and l l search you if they want more information. <laughs> they they can also you know, if, if they want to know something specific, they can they can ask some questions as well. I would just like to point out that <clears throat> our friend Trevor just called me a dick, but it's okay. <laughs> I understand. I have a sense of humor. It doesn't hurt. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, I feel like the uh, the appropriate phrase is dickhead. Like, yeah. Right? That's what this was all for. I've got a song called Dickheads to the <laughs> tune of Fish Heads. Oh, yes. I remember this one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I can't do it tonight. There's a lot of tech involved in it. Uh, uh, lovingly, he says. Yeah. <laughs> lovingly. Yes. lovingly. I appreciate that. I don't understand it, but I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So... <clears throat> Something happening? Yep. I, I did a, a little thing. Hold on. I gotta... Oh, I see. I'm not getting it because I suck. Oh, it was like a bad, bad, bad lip reading in harmony. It was me singing. And I didn't get to hear it because I don't deserve to. Well. I understand. I do. Technology. Uh -huh. You know. So let me actually put my guitar up because I'm not going to be needing it for this part. So Watch your cock. Watch your cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Watch your cock. Oh, you, Lord. <laughs> you got a snort out of me. I did. <clears throat> I snorted a little bit ago oh. to something you said. I don't snort hey. that often. Oh, I feel special. You should. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay. Um, we can take turns during this. Um, do, 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 do. Hold on. We will take turns. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember this. Oh, okay. You did get to do this once. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll take turns asking each other questions that the other person will not be able to hear. We will try to read each other's lips, but try, try at least. Here's a sentence. Mm -hmm. Here's a sentence I've never said before. I don't think you'll be able to see my lips. There's a penis in the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll, I'll remove this for the sake of the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um basically we'll we'll overemphasize the first word um and then the rest of it we can mumble if we want. But everybody else is going to be able to hear what we're hearing. What 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 is being said. Um but uh we will not whoever the contestant can't hear. Correct. That. So I I'll ask the first question and then we'll take turns asking each other uh, and they can be as random a question as you want. So one more time, you're <clears> going <throat> to ask me a question that I won't be able to hear. Correct. And I'll answer it as the, to the best of my ability. Correct. And don't okay. don't try and guess the question. Like don't say what you think the question is. Right. Just answer okay. the question that Understood. you think it might be. And if you don't know, make it up. That's the plan. Yep. <laughs> it's the Pretty SATs much. all over again. <laughs> So yeah, who, what, where, when, why, and how uh, will be the first word, and okay. that will give you a hint as to how to answer. Okay. And it, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll I'll hold up a finger when it, whenever I'm asking a question. Okay. <clears throat> Steve Goody. 
Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Where do you get the audacity to wear a penis hat on International Women's Day? Um, <laughs> it was right around my 15th birthday, and I was upset <laughs> because I had not gotten what I wanted, so I, um, I threw my accordion in the pool. Oh, no. <laughs> and that's where you got the audacity to wear a penis hat on International <laughs> Women's Day. <laughs> <laughs> on your 15th birthday when you threw the accordion in the pool. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You know, I think for, for men to acknowledge <laughs> that we are dicks is the perfect thing to do on International Women's Day. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't believe I had to mansplain that to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good Lord. laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Let me know when I am muted. Okay. Auburn. Uh who is your favorite songwriter and what is your favorite song by that songwriter? Can you repeat the first word? Who? Okay. Uh, I mean, dang, the, uh, probably David Bowie, um, in in the Ziggy Stardust years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, um, I mean, you know, <clears throat> I just, I, uh, it's just, you know, super, super, super inspiring to to be, you know you know, uh, <clears throat> able to, to be just fabulous all the time and, you know, not have to be what everybody expects of you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What was the question? <laughs> you did really well. The question was, who's your favorite songwriter? So oh. bang. Hey. But then the second part was, what's your favorite song by that songwriter? So uh... you kind of went off the rails there, but still full points. You've done this before. <laughs> I have. Uh, but I just, you said who, so I'm like, I don't know. Pick a random person. Yeah. You picked a songwriter. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did indeed. Um, <clears throat> all right. Next. <laughs> Every now and then I catch a look at myself and, man, I have no dignity. All right. But. It's the least I can do on International Women's Day. Okay. <clears throat> when was the last time you saw a cat with an eating disorder? Uh, that sandwich was made on Monday of last week, and it's just about ready now. <laughs> oh, no. When was the last time he saw a cat with an de eating disorder? <laughs> and he said, that sandwich was made about a week ago. Uh, uh, you made a sandwich with a cat? <laughs> two cats, actually. Oh. You got to have at least two. Two? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. Who has more fun than we do on the old Twitch? I don't know. Nobody. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Tonight, I'm, I'm guessing probably nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kelsey, I'm about there, too. <laughs> uh, okay. um, can I, my uh -huh. next question, if I'm doing another one, yes. will not start with any of those words. It's going to start with the word do. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Hi, Greg. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Put do your you finger prefer, up when you're asking the actual question. Okay. Do you prefer to refer to Eddie Izzard as Eddie or as Susie, his new uh, other gender name? Um, 
only on days that end in uh, Y. So, you know, most, most days. Um, but every now and then, you know, I, I make an exception and, and say, not today. We're not doing that today. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> it was, do you prefer to refer to Eddie Izzard by his name Eddie or his new, newly acquired name Susie for his oh. other gender identity? Uh-huh. See. So, yeah, that had nothing to do with that. <laughs> but it seemed right on International Women's Day when I'm wearing a penis on my head. That's what we should talk about. Fair enough. Because he's international and yeah. he's a woman some of the time. Mm -hmm. She is. Yeah. It's Indeed. confusing. Mm -hmm. Some of the time. So, you know. Some. Yes. Indeed. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what would your name be if you uh, ever decided to have a feminine name? I'm sorry. I missed the first part. Could you do it again, please? What? And then do the rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would your name be if you ever decided to change your name? Um... My favorite recipe for chicken Kiev came from my, my Aunt Lil, who would make it uh, at their home in St. Petersburg every Sunday when I was there. And what was it called? Uh, chicken Lil. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this guy is falling. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I asked you uh, what you would change your name to if you ever decided to change your name. Oh, mm -hmm. that is Chicken what Mill. I would change my name to. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Make, that, that checks yeah. out. Yep. <laughs> Either that or uh, Eddie or Susie. Yeah. Yeah, that checks out. Some, sometimes you have to have a safety school. Uh-huh. Indeed. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, people won't accept, you know, weirder names. <clears throat> names that they feel like are not normal, whatever. Yeah, you know, we is. call those people. We call those people no fun. Mm -hmm. I am. I am very inclined to agree. <laughs> but you're fun. I try. I try. Hey, it says here I broke Auburn. You don't look broke. You're fine. <laughs> no, because Johnny <laughs> tipped us forty dollars, so I'm not completely God bless broke. Him. Thank you. Ah, I get it. It, 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 it. Somebody says Auburn has snorted 230 times on Twitch. Maybe she laughs too much. No such thing, my friend. See? 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, no, we actually, uh, that, that's, a, that's a counter. Um, they, they count how many times I snort. I snort uh... laugh. And also how many times I burp. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you ever do both at once? Not often. Excuse me. And there's the burp. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take off this particular hat. Okay. Well, you get one more question. Oh, go ahead. Hold on. <clears throat> we get I'm more or less ready. Each. Okay. Oh, my hair's doing really interesting now stuff now. Ready. Hang on. I'm all mctangled. <laughs> what the hell happened here? Jump. Whoa. That's physically impossible. Okay, we're back. My hair's weird. The headphones work. Let's go. Did you ask a question yet? Oh, I'm asking a question. I'm sorry. I thought I was answering. You're right. You're right. Okay. I have not asked the question yet. Put your finger up when you're actually asking. Okay. <laughs> so I know you're not just talking to the people. <laughs> um, <laughs> who invented the doorknob? Dr. Seuss. Correct. Yeah. But specifically, like, the cat in the hat. Um, because, you know, Horton hears a who, maybe not so much, but cat in the hat for sure. <laughs> I don't know what you think I said. I have no idea. I just saw who. <laughs> and you thought, well, Horton heard one of those. Yeah, right. 
What was the you know, Horton went to hear the Who, and then he couldn't hear no more because the Who was, pretty it was loud. loud. Yeah. Yeah. What was the question? Who invented the doorknob? Oh. Yeah, Dr. Seuss. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't even have to Google it. That was amazing. I know. I just right off the top of my head, just knew it. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. That's true. I. How did you find that out, Trevor? Did you go to another planet and try and lick a doorknob? Now I'm envisioning that. Sounds like that. something Trevor would do. Do do do. <laughs> All right, we're going back to uh, music time. Oh boy! This has been a bad lip reading interview. Bad. Perhaps the worst ever. Lip reading. Perhaps. Hey oh, and here we are. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> SpongeBob told you. Oh, of course he did. Well, if you're not wearing a, a hat anymore, I am going to take mine off. That I'm going to put good. another one on pretty soon. Okay. Well, I have more too. And I don't think SpongeBob told anybody anything. That smacks of Squidward. Mm, it does. Who are we kidding? It does. If you lick enough doorknobs, you are bound to end up on another planet sooner or later. Ooh. Okay. I really want that to be true. Who knows what's on people's hands? <laughs> you at least will think that you're on another planet eventually. Possibly. Why don't ducks fly upside down? Why? They quack up. <laughs> <sighs> Why don't eggs tell jokes? They'd crack each other up. They'd crack, uh, crack each other up. That that goes along really well with the joke you just told. Did know, you just see that? In, uh huh. Oh, you saw it in chat. Okay, got it. Got it. I know how to work things. You're not the I, only one. It took me a second, and I was like, "Wait, <laughs> this is really this is really coincidental." Or or not at all. Not at all. And I, I, I was, yeah, okay. Anyways, <clears throat> is it my turn or your turn? I don't remember. I can't remember. I think it's your turn. Okay. But I don't know why I think that. Is there anything you Oh, yeah, because I did Here Comes My Son last. It's, oh, it's yeah. you. Is there anything you particularly want to hear? Something with death. Murder, preferably. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Or something scientific. Science. Full of chock full of scientific facts. Hmm. So that you can play your scientific song? Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> you know me too well. I do. I do. Um okay, I've got science. Man got and, I could do science. man and machine or I could do uh Frankenstein. That's a tough call. You'll have to decide. What do you think, Roberta? She I mean, Frankenstein, Frankenstein kind of has uh, death in it, too, it's, but it's the opposite of death. Yeah. But well, you have to have the death first. Correct. Yes. So this, this, uh, we'll do Man and Machine after Frankenstein, because we'll still okay. have a little bit of time. They scream when they see you Alarmed by your face And you wonder why you exist in this place You made of pieces of people You've never met And who Skin to the organ beneath 
stitch you up in patches So your outsides and insides don't match I cannot change you But I sure as hell see you Blood and bones and sinew And I see through your skin could remake you, I would I'd give you all that he should Cause he's the monster, not you If I could remake you, I would I'd give you all that he should Cause he's the monster, not you Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm tempted to try another hat. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> this is going to be very difficult with headphones. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this, yeah. This is not going to work. <laughs> you think I the headphone? It, do you, do you think it will hit up uh, fit? Yeah. No, I gotta do it from behind. Hold on. <laughs> That's yeah, what she said. Words to live by. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that the title of your okay. sex tape? Yeah. <laughs> like you didn't already know that. <laughs> like you weren't the producer of it. <laughs> I All mean, right. you know, isn't this a promo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything's a promo for something. All right. Here's something I don't think anyone's ever done before. Wow. Yeah. Why? 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 How many fans of Tom Lehrer are there listening to us? Lots of them, I hope. <laughs> Uh, Tom Lehrer wrote a lot of really great songs, and one of them is the list of all the chemical elements, simply entitled, what you doing over there, Robert? Sorry. <laughs> simply entitled The Elements, and this is part of my show also, the, the tribute to Weird Al and Daniel Radcliffe, because Daniel sang this song on the Graham Norton show live about, I don't know, eight or ten years ago, and nailed it, so it's my job to recreate this on the accordion, because that's an Al thing, so here we go. <laughs> There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium. Nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and acetine, and radium, metal, protectinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's a tree of turbium. Yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubinium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Isn't that interesting? Yes. 
There's hormium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium. Manganese and mercury, molybdenum, magnesium, dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium. Lead for cedinium and platinum, plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, tantalum, babesium, titanium, tellurium, and cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, berkelium, and also mendelevium, einsteinium, nobelium, argon, kryptonium, radon, zinc, and zinc, and rhodium, chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news had come to Harvard in 1968, and there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. Woohoo! And there you have it. What you doing there, Auburn? You balancing produce on your head? Um, it's like a poison rotten apple. Nice. That okay. I crocheted myself. Wow! You crocheted a poison rotten apple because... Uh, well, it's the only colors that I had. I didn't have <laughs> a good red to actually use for the apple That's part. That's a very good answer. Yeah. I'm putting this thing down. I'm never picking it up again. Never? Never. Okay, maybe once. Yeah. But I'm, I'm like, about to be, I, I think I already said this, the proud over an, owner of an electronic accordion, so yes. I may graduate from that thing. Mm -hmm. Bully. We'll see. Bully. I'm frightened. You're frightened. <laughs> I'm frightened. Accordions are scary. Yeah, they are. They have so many buttons. Mm -hmm. So many. So many buttons. All of the buttons. Mm -hmm. They they like took all of the buttons in the world and just put them on an accordion. Would you please do a song involving buttons? Buttons. Mm -hmm. Um, how about robots in space? Sure, that's the same thing. Yeah. I mean, and I'm yes, we'll all go together when we go. Is awesome, Bergster. There you go. So they wanted to hear this one. Which is another uh, Twilight Zone song. Yay. Which we never finished ours. We never did. Did no. we even start it? I think we, we did. did. We did. Imagine like if you imagine if you imagine if you will. Yeah. All the time in the world. Yeah. That. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much all we wrote, though. Yeah. But that's enough, man. I think that's why we stopped. That's so brilliant. You don't need more than that. <laughs> All right. This is called Man and Machine. It's inspired by an episode of The Twilight Zone entitled The Lonely, in which a guy was uh, put in solitary confinement on an asteroid. And then um, they, he, they, they sent like quarterly drop offs of supplies. And on one of these drop offs, they, they gave him a giant box uh, that held a robot that looked and acted and seemed like a human female but was, in fact, a robot, as he said. There's a hair on the microphone. Go I love that. The hair's on the microphone? Yeah. It's probably from one of my hats. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that get here? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Solitary in an infinite space Wishing for an instant just to see another face Punished for the things that I've done I should mention I also wrote this with Mary Jennings Yay, Mary Jennings! Searching alone And of course <laughs> uh, Different. 
事。Searching the conversation. You don't have a past. Don't want you to know where I've been. No formal introduction when you came into this place. Just a booklet of instructions that I'd sooner throw away. Searching for a connection. I think I have an answer to that if you'd like. Oh, you do? Yeah, because man, and machine, and robots is what you're talking about. And yes. uh, as you know, I, as a fan of Star Wars, Ooh, can, uh -huh. can, cannot stand R2 D2. <gasps> I, in my opinion, he's much more evil than Darth Vader and the Emperor and George Lucas put together. Well, Steve, would you tell us yeah. why? I think I will. And especially since it's National, International Women's Day. Most women who have a comment on that saying, but he's so cute, how could he be evil? Well, I'm here to tell you, that's his cover. There's a tiny little droid, kind of looks like a salt shaker. Can't really talk, but he beeps like a wiseacre. A little piece of junk who steals every scene from the swamps of Dagobah to the sands of Tatooine. Some people think he's cute. I think he's a creep. He can open any door. He can always get a peep, and that's worse than Superman's X-ray vision, because no matter what the codes, R2-D2 has permission to raid your bank account, take pictures of your wife, post them on Facebook. Man, that is not right. He can screw up vinyl. He can screw up the voice, and damn it, that's supposed to be viewer's choice. He can mess with an election. He can always get his way. That's what happened in Florida in Y2K. I think that's terrible. Evil and deplorable, but Everyone thinks he's cute. Yeah, the girls think he's adorable. F you, R2-D2. F you, R2-D2. You're as attractive to me as Trump in a see-through, so F you, R2-D2. F you, R2-D2. F you, R2-D2. I'll take you to the airport and send you to Escondido. F you, R2-D2. <laughs> He could solve global warming, but he just makes it worse. And he sucks at rhyming, and he sucks at free verse. He comes drunk to a party. He'll never, ever leave. He's got real bad breath for a dude who doesn't breathe. He likes making crappy holograms for everyone to see. Some of those holograms aren't exactly rated G. Like the time the Emperor had his way with Darth Vader, the droid put that on YouTube a day later. And I didn't need to see Vader on his knees, using the Force to its logical extremes. But even that wouldn't have been offensive to me. But everyone knows holograms are 3D. Ah, my eyes have been permanent cringe. Thanks, you little bastard. Now my retinas are singed. Can't Remember what you just made me see. Three PO, how could you let him do this to me? F U R two D two. F U R two D two. You ruined my life and ended my libido. So F U R two D two. F U R two D two. F U R two D two. I should have left you in the swamp or sent you to 
Machu Picchu, F U R G D. Some might say, <laughs> this is a terrible song. I can't remember the line. Some might say, totally wrong. Say that this is, a, this is a terrible song. Well, you can think what you want, but did you ever consider he could have blown up the Death Star on his own a little? Pooper, while we were risking the lives of all those good guys, he could have phoned in a code and de-imperialized the whole galaxy without lifting a digit. Cause he, but he didn't, because he's a malicious little midget! F you, R2D2. F you, R2D2. My stupid smartphone has this dream to be you, so F you, R2D2. F you, R2D2. F you, R2D2! There must be a way to control all delete you if you are duty to. And that's how I feel. <laughs> I am absolutely salivating. Man. You drooling? Yeah. yeah. Either I'm really mad or I'm really into R2D2. Maybe that's Hard what the say. song's really about. Maybe that's what it's really about. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Did, did mm -hmm. you get spurned by R2D2? Oh, spurned. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I didn't hear the N in there. Uh, no, not that I know of. I think it's all subconscious. <laughs> also, I love that like, you censor yourself after wearing multiple <laughs> penis hats. It's on. just funner. <laughs> I think saying pooper is funnier when, when you're expecting the bad word. Indeed. It's just me. Well... You know, this this seems like an appropriate song to sing after that one, for multiple reasons. Um, <laughs> because you know, I do I do like R two D two, but I also uh, I like my I like my men a little more up to no good. <laughs> and also, uh, this song uh, is often when I when I, I when I play it in front of kids, I do have to uh, censor a word. My dad likes the censored version, but it just doesn't have quite the same effect. <laughs> Mark Rides loves this, the disclaimer on your site, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> also, hi, Mark. And hey, hi, Mark. Sue Penguin. And hey, Fergster. I don't know if I said hello to you yet. Yes, what have I walked into? Well, this is Steve Goody over here. Johnny! This is Roberta. Yes, Roberta. But you can only vaguely see. There you go. <laughs> yeah, holding her up. There you go. This is Bob. You see. Hold on, hold on. That's yeah, Bob. That's Bob. And? Roberta. Mm-hmm. Indeed. I can't decide which I like more. You know? They're both Johnny. very cool. Thank you for gifting us up to Ferkster, Johnny. A hundred gift subs total. My goodness. Wow. You've reached a hundred. That's amazing. All right. So this song is called Up to No Good. My mom likes to call this my 007 song. I don't know what she means. You're sweet. Couldn't be sweeter. When you find the right girl, you'll know just how to treat her. Don't feel bad. I just can't help it, the man I'm looking for It's just a little more, a little more trouble in his eyes A little more danger on his lips A little more mischief in his mind A little more Elvis in his hips I like my man just a little more up to no Little Miss Perfect, but I'm a real bad girl right under the surface. Don't look sad, I just can't help it. The girl in your white dress, she's got a little less, a little less wicked in her eyes, a little less bitter on her lips, a little less crazy in her mind, a little less I don't give a shit.
I could want you, I know that I should And if I like the right boys, and I surely would But I'm drawn to the dark ones, the hard ones to read The ones in the distance, the ones you don't need You're sweet, couldn't be sweeter When you find the right girl, you will just how to treat her To no good yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank you. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Um, can we, can we know the reference? <laughs> of course. Just check. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, it's almost nine o'clock. It is. I believe oh that my God. means we have time for like maybe one more each. You would say? You would say? I've got, can I do a one minute song? Absolutely. Okay. It um, totally makes sense. Mark wants to know if you're on Bandcamp, Spotify, SoundCloud. All those things, I believe. Certainly Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. All 35 of my albums are available on Bandcamp. 35 albums. Working on number 36 now. That's amazing. That's a waste of time. Anyway, speaking of time, we're going to set our clocks forward again this weekend because the stupidest thing humanity has ever come up with as a group continues. Uh, I know well, we, we were all... we going to get want... rid of that. Yeah, I know. I... Some people say, well, we don't want the kids going to school in the dark. You know, I don't want the kids going to school in the dark. But how about just changing the hours of the school rather than messing with the entire space-time continuum in our heads? Come on. Twice a year for three weeks, I have no idea what time it is. And it's the worst in the spring because we spring forward. Mm -hmm. So I think it's 4 o'clock, but it's 5 o'clock, so I'm late for everything. Yep. You know, the, and the kids say, oh, just look at your phone. Your phone changes automatically. Yeah, well, my stove does not. I don't have the eye stove. So for two, three weeks, twice a year, it's a different time zone in every room in my house. I don't like it. So here's a song I wrote about that when I was working at Dairy Queen 30 years ago. <laughs> it's daylight savings time, that time of year when I'm chronically late for work, which annoys that stupid jerk. My manager, I mean, down at the Dairy Queen. Oh, how he does berate me when I come in late. He likes to yell and scream. There's no I in team. I need punctual employees. Make stupid frozen treats. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'll go work the register. But he says, you're late, so you go clean the ladies' room. So I'm scrubbing toilets now, cursing because somehow this 23-hour day got longer anyway. What bonehead thought of this? Arbitrarily changing what time it is. It's only payback, y'all, for the extra hour last fall. It will not save you time, won't get you more sunshine. Just makes us surlier from getting up earlier. So if you're at DQ, waiting in the drive-thru, don't expect a faster crew to effing wait on you. That. I almost didn't censor myself on that. Mm -hmm. and, and then I did anyway. <laughs> Force a habit. Uh, you know. You know. You know. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I was trying to figure mm -hmm. out what to do for the last song. Is there anything that I have not played yet that y'all are dying to hear? Speak now. Yeah. Or, you know, hold your peace until Friday <laughs> afternoon. Because that's my next time I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. And Fridays are family-friendly Fridays, so. Oh, good. Which yeah. this was not. This was very much not. Very not. Very not. In fact, I may put uh, in... I have not done 15 knots yet, no. Oh, and Nikki's like, Murder Battle Blues. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, hold on. We have two people... 
cl- uh, asking for Murder Ballad Blues, though. So Murder Ballad Blues. I guess that's the one. So Penguin, if if uh, if I see you on another stream this week, I will absolutely play that for you. Just remind me. I usually broadcast on Fridays, Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. Oh, three people. <laughs> 15 odds, yeah. Thank you. Okay. We're going to do Murder Ballad Blues. I can't believe Alice missed this show. Well, I've been running, chasing after you. I keep coming, tracking your every move when I find you. Better say your prayers, call me karma Cause it's your curse to bear You can talk yourself in circles Beg me for your life But the only mercy you receive is from Jesus Christ I've been running I'm gonna tie you up on the train tracks Leave you there till your blood runs cold Tie you up on the train tracks Leave you there till the reaper comes Yes, show me those train track emotes Those train emotes, all of them Flood the chat I've been running Chasing after you I'm not stopping Till you're cold and blue and I find you better say your prayers cry for help it won't help you here vengeance is my master and you're his favorite toy so keep it up don't let me down I mean to bring him joy I've been running I'm gonna tie you up to the train tracks leave you there till your blood runs Go tie you up on the train tracks, leave you there till the reaper comes. Yeah, all the train emotes that you got, put them in the chat, they will pop up on the screen. They arrested me on Tuesday. Till the reaper comes, tied him up. 
beside him up on the train tracks Left him there till the reaper comes Now the moral of the story If you write a murder song Pay attention to who sings along singing along I saw Nikki and Kelsey I know for sure anybody else singing along did y'all see Steve singing along <laughs> thank you thank you thank you Auburn was yeah. singing along so with my own eyes me singing yeah. along to myself. How can I? How? How Seems is that possible? possible? Right? Fenris, I caught you. Ah! Also, hi. Hello. All right. I think it's time for us to choose where we're going. Yes. Easy. Easy. Got it. It's fine. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Nothing's falling over. Come in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who's there? I heard Nymeri moving around. She's like, "What was that?" <laughs> Do you want a treat? You want to come say hello? While while we choose who we're gonna raid. So raiding is a thing on Twitch, where um, we bring our audience, whoever is watching right now, um, over to somebody else, somebody else's channel who is live mm -hmm. right now as well. So. Let's see who's live. And uh, do do. Let's see where we can go. Let's see. Beer, 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 beer. Mandy Prater is live. Uh, da, 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 da. Julie go live. We got Megan Linnaeus. Sally Wallace. Anybody that. Uh, Let's see, oh, the Mandevilles. Let's see, Octavia. Hmm. Mandy? Trevor wants to go to Mandy. Okay, we can go to I Mandy. I think that's a good choice. Sure. Oh, Mimi's on, too. Is she on the front page? I think mm. she's on the front page. Good for Auburn her. Auburn is, Madam Poltergeist is reminding you to unplug your guitar. Yep. Good. I think, good. I think I'll unplug mine. Yeah. Not that she cares about mine, but still. Yes. Shout out for Steve again. Yes, exclamation point, Steve Goody. Trevor's already got it. Already on it. Thanks, you guys. Yes, yes. Oh, and Mandy's doing a, an International Women's Day theme. Request a female song. Sweet, sweet. Is there any other kind? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I got the flash drive. Thank you very much. Oh, good. And if I had not, I don't know that I ever would have found it. That thing wedged itself under everything. Phew. Man, that would Phew. have sucked. Yeah, I think we're going over to Mandy Prater. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say good night. Good night. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Steve. You rock. You rock. Okay. Appreciate you. <laughs> Appreciate you. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. All right. Hey, Miria. Do you want a big treat? Let's give her a big treat here. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> you know, one of those times. Goodness gracious. How do I? Now and then, every now and then. Okay. I just wanted Nymeria to come up here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yes, I know. Okay. Sure, yeah. Do it. Do it, Mark. Custom raid. Ah, ah. Kiss. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> All right.
Yes. Happy uh, Happy International Women's Day. Yeah. I need to say that. Desku. Desku. All right. All right. Go ahead. I'll see you over there. Bye.